Um, so my name's Hannah Clements. I started on the graduate scheme five years ago. My name's Jack Douglas. I started on the graduate scheme at Buckinghamshire County Council three years ago now. So hi, I'm Lawrence. Um, I joined uh, Bucks County Council on the graduate scheme about two years ago. So I applied for the graduate scheme straight out of university. I was in that nice fresh face, didn't know the heck I wanted to do with my life phase. Uh, I knew that I wanted to work in local government. The good thing about Buckinghamshire County Council is it was a really clear application process and actually showed the different things that you were doing. There was a lot of variety in there. So that really appealed to me. Before I joined, I was at uh, UCL studying physical geography. And I started here a week after my graduation, so I didn't have much of a gap in between. Um, I was doing an accounting and finance degree at the University of Birmingham. I decided that I wanted to go straight into work instead of kind of carrying on my accounting qualifications. Um, and I wanted to obviously move back home and work somewhere within my local area. Um, and so this was kind of the perfect opportunity to have a really varied role. So whilst I was on the scheme, I had um, access to a number of different teams, so at that point in time we moved around every four months. So when I started at the County Council, I came in very not really knowing what to expect and very inexperienced. I went from being a project support officer essentially, just doing clerical work for different teams within a transport economy environment, through to being trained as a project manager gaining up a little bit of different experience as a business improvement officer, trained myself up in that as well, uh, and then started getting involved in wider projects throughout the councils. I've always remained in the same team, um, but I feel like I've progressed in terms of the amount of responsibilities um, I've had. Um, saying that, even at the beginning, I was given the opportunity to work in you know, some quite large-scale projects. I had access to loads of different training kind of courses, materials, there's lots of e-learning stuff that we've got um, access to. I think what the graduate scheme does really, really well is there are formal training qualifications that you can do as well as the softer stuff which sort of doesn't really get talked about enough. I trained in PRINCE2 which is the most recognised qualification you can get for project management which is a fantastic thing, really, really helps step up my level of experience and understanding of project management generally and has sort of improved my CV massively. Um, so the main training opportunity I've had uh, since being here is uh, the council funding me to do um, masters in statistics and research methods at the University of Southampton. Uh, my managers and you know, my colleagues have been very flexible with me in terms of giving me time to uh, revise, do assignments, to go to the lectures. Um, and yeah, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been a great opportunity to do it. I was mentored by two different of the executive directors, and that meant that whilst it wasn't a qualification you were doing, it was so much more worthwhile in terms of the training, the level of experience you get just from watching them work, seeing how they operate, and the different sort of roles that they're involved in was fantastic. So the people here, you know, are all here to do um, the best that they can for the residents, which I love. Um, there's lots of flexibility obviously around working hours so you can really keep your work and lifestyle balance which um, isn't necessarily always um, something that you have in graduate schemes. In Brooks County Council it gives you the opportunity to actually go to different areas and visit people to talk to the public and actually see what impact your work's having. That I found massively beneficial. Uh, the opportunities and the flexibility which kind of ties in with uh, my study but also in general the sort of work-life balance you can achieve. Um, the flexible uh, working hours, which uh, you know, are appealing to everyone, I think, to do. My favourite experience has been the mentoring side of things. It's not only been in one direction, so not only have I had fantastic mentoring opportunities for executive directors, but I've also been encouraged to mentor apprentices that have come below me or even new graduates that have come in and just having that level of experience to be able to talk people through what you've been through and help to guide them has been fantastically rewarding. It has meant that the amount of young people coming to this organisation has changed ra rapidly over the last couple of years and we're seeing real core groups of intelligent young people coming in. Uh, one thing that comes to mind I'd probably say is the sort of sense of community I feel with the graduates. Um, Having said, joined two years ago, I feel like I've made uh, you know, really good friends with people from my own intake in the graduate scheme and also the following year. Um, and I feel, especially moving to a new area where I didn't really know anyone, that's been really important in my um, work life but also in my personal life.
So definitely look into it. So all of the information that's online, have a look at it and you know, definitely apply. So there's so many different roles here that actually there's a real good opportunity to match your skills with a, with a service that you're interested in as well. Be yourself and don't try and be what you think people want to see. Um, also reach out to some of you know, the graduates kind of through years. So um, a lot of us are on LinkedIn, for example, so we're always willing to answer questions.